We already heard some of these points from uh, my, the speaker before me. However, I think it's important and therefore I will quickly summarize why chemical recycling can play a role in becoming circular. On the one hand, it's complementary to mechanical recycling. It should not in any way substitute chem uh, mechanical recycling. It should be an add-on by addressing waste streams that are hard to recycle and that are currently going to incineration and therefore are not kept in the loop. We can, with chemical recycling, and this is a difference to mechanical recycling, produce virgin quality materials. That means that the final product, the polymer that is coming from a chemical recycling process cannot be differentiated from one that is made out of a fossil feedstock. Um, this means we um, remove any undesired additives or impurities. For example, PFAS is something that is very much discussed at the moment um, with um, chemical recycling. Mechanical recycling always has a little bit of a, um, quality reduction in each recycling process. So chemical recycling can give us the option to press the reset button also after some mechanical recycling circles, for example. Um, therefore, because we have here a virgin quality material, it can be used for any sensitive application field such as medical sectors, automotive where we have high pressures or high temperatures, and also, of course, food packaging. It, on the other hand, um, lowers the dependency on virgin fossil raw materials, and as we've seen, this is needed because the overall demand is increasing. And it will also help us to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. I will later on show a life cycle assessment that we conducted on our um, recycling technology that shows that in comparison to incineration, this is what happens at the moment with these waste streams, we can help to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and thereby reach the climate targets. So what waste do we um, address with our chemical recycling technology? We address polyolefins, um, in particular polypropylene, um, polyethylene, low density and high density polyethylene, and also to a smaller extent polystyrol. These four types of plastic um, account for approximately 60% of plastics produced. So polyolefins are around 60% of plastics in comparison to that PET, for example, that is very well known, um, accounts for 8% of plastics. So we have here a very huge market share. So to sum it up, we have with ReOil a chemical recycling um, technology, a proprietary technology based on pyrolysis. We showed that this technology is working in a continuous process. It has a proven um, refinery integration. We have um, a high scale-up potential. Um, we have an uh, operability and reliability with more than 22,000 operating hours approved. We can show that it can help to save greenhouse gas emissions and therefore we believe it's um, together with other recycling technology one way to achieve a full circular economy. Thank you.